Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share, and smash that notification. Yo, I just keep coming across these funny videos and I just feel like I need to react to them. Now, I've already seen most of this stuff, like, when it first came out and everything. But, like, it's always, like, nostalgia to go back, you know? It's like watching an old Jordan game or a bird or magic, you know, something like that. To watch the goat do what he does, hey, this is a great thing. But, like I said, let's get into it. We can sell beef. It's peanuts. <laughs> and by the way, unbelievable people are coming. A lot of people that are illegal are great people. Just let's get it straight. They don't want to give it straight. Right. And that's what it is. I, I think people don't understand is we don't mind people coming here. Just come here the right way. Because the press are liars. They're terrible people. But here's an idea. Right. So Mexico is sending lots of people. And by the way, they're coming from all over the world, including the Middle East. Why not? Come in. Come on. <laughs> come in come on <laughs> on in we're stupid we'll take care of you we'll pay it's so true though it's sad but true <sighs> get sick we'll take care of your hospitalization what kind of a plan do you want <laughs> oh don you're a little controversial you're talking <laughs> look i love how he talks with his hands oh you're a little controversial talking about illegal immigration i said it's illegal that there right. are uh, what's wrong we're talking about it Immigrants on the whole create. Come on, try getting, it try getting it out. Try getting it out. I'll get it out. I mean, I don't know if you're going to put this on television, but you don't even know what you're talking about. Try getting it out. Go ahead. This lady has the craziest smirk on her face, too, though. The premiums are going through the roof. The deductibles, frankly, you have to get hit with a Komatsu tractor in order to use them. They're so high. We just spent a million dollars building a soccer field. Okay? A soccer field for our prisoners that happen to be in Guantanamo. <laughs> what is the purpose of it? Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that either. I don't get it. They don't need that. What do you need a million dollars for? Level out the surface. Let them play. The Iranians are great negotiators. The Persians are great negotiators. And we have people that are babies. It's like a chess player, grandmaster, playing against a checkers child. A checkers child. <laughs> no, that's what it is. We give them, think of it, a nuclear scientist, and they won't give us our hostages back. It's so, it's so insane. President Obama, Secretary Kerry, I highly think you should read this book quickly. Quick. <laughs> We have very stupid people in our country <laughs> negotiating for us, and we have leaders that don't know what they're doing. You know, so Jeb Bush, one of my opponents, I noticed he's not doing very well in the polls. I've actually... <laughs> one of my opponents. <laughs> and by the way, they said I won the debate. Is that nice? Is that nice? Right? The polls came out and said I won. And the media, look at all those people back there. Scavengers. They're like scavengers. <laughs> They'll probably say the crowds were about equal. Oh, they were equal. But that's the way they are. Very dishonest. See <laughs> CNN is terrible. Terrible. <laughs> CNN. The Clinton News Network. You with CNN? Are you with CNN? Are you, are you people do not cover us accurately at all. <laughs> oh, so they have a few protesters outside and they have thousands of people and the first question from CNN is about protesters so what I'm gonna do is span out span out show them the crowd press show them the crowd show them the crowd look they're not turning the cameras they don't even turn the cameras <laughs> they don't even turn the cameras because you know what they're very dishonest people because you know what they do they have the camera, live television, on my face the entire amount. <laughs> they don't take it off of them because it's must-see TV. Out. Even the liberals love watching it because they hate them so much. My wife goes, I go home. Were there any people there tonight, darling? They don't see. <laughs> they never show the crowds. Frankly, I don't even think they give a damn about education, half of them. And I'm sure some you maybe really want do. To use that word in this I will. form. I will. What does it matter? Well, because if people want to. If it's true, it's true. Hear the truth, Frank. I right. watch you all the time. They want to hear the truth. 
be correct. We have to be able is to express ourselves. But, but referring to people... I'd rather be somebody not well-spoken and be honest with me than have somebody be uh, be more well-spoken and be dishonest. That's just usually how it goes, you know? People as rapists. Excuse me. Referring to I mean, look at Obama. Look at how dishonest he is. To, Excuse me. To John McCain, a war hero, five and a half years of, as a POW, and you call him a dummy. Is that appropriate <laughs> in running for president? Okay, uh, let's yeah, what's wrong with it? We don't need politically correct anymore. You got to let me speak, though, Frank, because you I, interrupt all. That's the, that stuff's over with now. All the time, okay? <laughs> so, no, I know him too well. That's the problem. In the center of the stage tonight, businessman Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would never give up. <laughs> Why did he just look like that? Up my microphone. I thought that was disgusting. That showed such weakness. The way he was taken away by two young women. The microphone. They just took the whole place over. That will never happen with me. With me? I don't know if I'll do the fighting myself or if other people will. That's But funny. that was a disgrace. The way they took... I felt badly for him. But it showed that he's weak. You want to be what, vice president? Oh, now his question's no longer as good. He had great <laughs> credibility <laughs> until he said that. Now, <laughs> now it's like, where did he come from? We need a leader that wrote the art of the deal. I said trade deals. Who would do better? I know, I'll tell you what. I know the greatest negotiators in the world. Some are horrible people, horrible human beings. Who cares? <laughs> Some Wall Street guys, they're brutal, they're miserable. You yeah, I mean, business is cutthroat. Wouldn't want to go out to dinner, they're terrible people. <laughs> I love them. You know who's our primary representative right now? Carolyn Kennedy. <laughs> you know how she got the job? 60 Minutes. She went to the White House. She said, I'd love to have a job. I have nothing to do. <laughs> they said, how would you like to be the ambassador to Japan? <laughs> she goes, really? <laughs> you know why I say she's nice? Because my daughter Ivanka likes her. My daughter's so great. She's such a great person. My daughter likes her. She said, Daddy, she's such a nice person. I, I, I don't want a nice, I want to kill her. <laughs> We're tired of the nice people. Yeah, what do you are. need to spend a million dollars? We just spent, it's a story today. A million dollars on a soccer field? How do you spend a million dollars doing the soccer field? You have a level piece of land. Throw them a ball, let them play soccer, if they have to play at all. See, you're not supposed right. to say. Why are we worried about that? They're at Guantanamo Bay for a reason. That somebody graduated last or second to last in their class. Because you're supposed to be like Frank says, very nice. Folks, I want to make America great again. We want to get down to brass tacks. We don't want to listen to his stuff with being politically correct and everything has to... Yeah, we don't care about politically correct anymore. We have a lot of work to do. Ten years ago, everybody wanted the wall. The Democrats, the Republicans, they couldn't Everyone, get it. Yeah. You know one of the reasons they couldn't get it? Environmental impact statements. Did you know that? There were toads. There were the... It's the most incredible thing. NBC what? calls me, we'd like to see you. A couple of months ago, the head of NBC comes to see me. And the head of NBC's boss, I don't want to mention names because they're really good people. They're friends of mine, although I probably will never speak to them again either. <laughs> Killed him. First of all, Rand Paul shouldn't even be on this stage. He's number 11. He's got 1% in the polls and how he got up there. <laughs> Yo, I kind of like Rand Paul a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Just for how he grilled Fauci during the whole pandemic stuff. But, uh... None of them people should have been up there. Let's just put it at that. There's far too many people. Anyway, would we not all be worried to have someone like that in charge of the nuclear arsenal? Take, take the Mr. Trump. I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. What is wrong with him? That I can tell you. But Jake, Jake, I want to. I want to give Jake, Mr. Sir. Trump. Gonna make it's a massive plant, one of the biggest in the world. They're gonna make all these cars, trucks, and parts. They're even making parts. It's so big they'll make the parts, the trucks. And I actually gave them a good idea. Why don't we just let the illegals drive the cars and trucks right in through the border? They don't have to even it's true. No, I gave them that. Save a lot of money. That'll be next. 
<laughs> no, no. Just, yeah, just let them go. They're good. We'll just give them the route and give them the gas and everything. They'll be doing that next. So oh. the Mexican government is not happy with me, to put it mildly. And again, I respect Mexico, but their leaders are too smart for our leaders because we have stupid leaders, okay? You mean it's not politically correct and yet everybody uses it? I say, so you know what? Give me a different term. Give me a different term. What else would you like to say? Oh, you want me to say that? Okay. I said, no, I'll use the word anchor, baby. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll use the word anchor, baby. He would give us. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is so funny. Sermon. You never wanted to leave. Sometimes we have sermons, and every once in a while we think about leaving a little early, right, even though we're Christian. And pledge to not run an independent campaign against that person. Again, we're looking for you to raise your hand now. Raise your hand now if you won't make that pledge tonight. <laughs> yeah! Mr. Trump. Who is Uma married to? <laughs> One of the great sleazebags of our time. <laughs> Anthony Weiner, did you? Anthony Weiner. You know that? <laughs> She's married to Anthony Weiner. You know, the little bing, 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 bum, bum. I love you very much. I'm a very militaristic person, but you have to know when to use the military. I'm the only person up here that fought against going into Iraq. You, now, can I, can now, I make a response to just that? Just excuse me, one second, can Rand. I make if you a don't mind, Rand. To that? You know, you are. If you don't mind, Rand. <laughs> are on the list. Yeah, you do have your 1%. But have you ever asked God for forgiveness? I'm not sure I have. I just go and try and do a better job from there. I don't think so. I think I, if, I, if I do something wrong, I think I just try and make it right. I don't bring God into that picture. I don't. I See, I could say absolutely, and everybody, I don't think in terms of that. I, I think in terms of let's go on and let's make it right. Let's say that, like that. Jeb Bush or Hillary or mm -hmm. one of these politicians yeah. all talk, no action. <laughs> all controlled by lobbyists and special interests and donors. People like me from previous months, okay? Total control. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bong, 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 bing, bing, bong. Bing, bing. You know what that is, right? We have heads uh, being chopped off because they're Christian in the Middle East. We have yeah, borders where people are being killed all of. The world is cracking up and they're worried about my tone. So what would President Trump do? So I don't have money, I don't have lobbyists. In fact, I've had in the last two weeks, because I've hired many of the lobbyists. That's true. I hire lobbyists. They're great. They're terrific people. They can do whatever the hell you want them to do, okay? <laughs> right. That's, that's when you're not paid by the lobbyist. You're paying them, so they do what you say. It's true. Thanks. I was a this... businessman. I got along with Clinton. I got along with everybody. Yeah. That was my job, to get along with people. But the I didn't want to... Is... Excuse me. One second. No. I the didn't want to... Yeah. Yeah. You okay. cannot take... More energy tonight. I like... No. More energy tonight. I like it. Yeah. Look, I was asked the question. I didn't want. It was my obligation as a businessman to my family, to my company, to my employees to get along with all politicians. I got along with all of them and I did a damn good job in doing it. Go ahead. So and the poll just came out and I'm tied with Jeb Bush. And I said, oh, that's too bad. How can I be tied with this guy? He's terrible. <laughs> He's terrible. He he is so confused as to why he was up there, why Jeb Bush was even on his level at all. And it's true, dude, because Jeb Bush, he is a terrible, terrible politician. He's terrible. Him and his brother. Hillary Clinton was the worst Secretary of State. She did nothing. If anybody knows what she literally did good for this country, drop it in the comments below. I know I'm getting no comments on it. In the history of our country, the worst. Our enemies are a disaster. Our friends, and they hate us more. So Uma is getting classified secrets. She's married to Anthony Weiner, who's a perv. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> who's a perv? He just th happens to just throw that one out there. Somewhere there we'll find a balance tonight. So I would have dinner with my kids almost always, and I'm always available to my children. I could be in the middle of the biggest, most important deal, 
And for instance, if Ivanka called me right now, I'd say, bye bye, Frank. You're a wonderful guy. I think it's unlikely, but if. Ha <laughs> ha! He's all about that family. Jeb became president. When they say, Mr. President, it's very bad that Ford's building in Mexico. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll do something. Let me go to sleep first. We'll do something. We need somebody that can take our jobs back, Frank, because we're going to hell. Right. No, for sure. We got to bring these jobs all back to America. All these countries take advantage of us. Our country's going to hell. And Frank doesn't like the word hell, but we're going to hell. I beat the people from... I say the same thing all the time. China, I win against China. You can win against China if you're smart. But our people don't have a clue. We give state dinners to the heads of China. I say, why are you doing state dinners for them? They're ripping us left and right. Just take them to McDonald's and go back to the... <laughs> I knew that one was coming. I don't remember this, but that is great. Just take him to McDonald's. Negotiating table. Seriously. Right. Well, I heard you <laughs> knew it. Nice man. He apologized because he actually said that we had a misunderstanding. And he said awesome. today that Donald Trump is maybe the best interview there is anywhere that he's ever done. Now, unless he was just saying that on CNN to be nice, but he did say that. Oh, well, you're the best statement? interview in America. And we had a legitimate mis... Everybody knows it, too understanding in terms of his pronunciation of a word but uh, I would say just well I think it was and he actually said that did you say that and so radio together. makes an interesting thing okay so uh, I will say this though uh, you was giving me name after name Arab name Arab name and there are few people anywhere Arab name, Arab name. anywhere that would have known those names I think he was reading them off a sheet and Fox hasn't touched this. And I've, been in, I've been in touch with Kelly, too. And I've been in... Let's go. Come on. Gotta go. All right. Gotta go. <laughs> Let's go. What's going on with my whole speech? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. There's, there's counterfeit substandard parts in most of the nuclear plants in the United States. Counterfeit substandard parts in nuclear plants in the United States. I'm not surprised to hear that. Why? Am I surprised? And some of them have come from China. Now, when I brought... And in airplanes, too, by the way. And in airplanes, too, by the way. <laughs> when I brought this out, the NRC, Nuclear Regulatory Commission, accused me of... Con and our weapons, we don't even know if they work. To show you how stupid we are, they did a major television program, 60 Minutes, and I don't know if anybody saw it, where they go into the silos, the stuff is old, it's rotted, the phone systems don't work, the wires going to the phones are all... They don't even know if it works. And I said, if I were Obama... I wouldn't be showing that. And they got in there. <laughs> called out Obama right there. Because Obama wanted people to see how bad it is so that maybe they could get some money to fix it up. How stupid is this? Our enemies are looking at this stuff with 44-year-old phones and wires that don't work. And the people, they're interviewing the people that are working in these phone systems. And they're saying, no, you can't hear. You can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> you can't hear. <laughs> yeah. And I'm saying, can you believe what we're doing? This it's like so in the war. Funny, dude. They were saying, we're going in in two weeks and we're going to be attacking a certain city. You know what I'm talking about. And we're going to attack, and this is the way we're doing it, and we're going here. And I'm saying, can you imagine the great General Douglas MacArthur or George Patton, any of these great guys? Any of these great guys listening to a president say exactly what we're going to be doing. Then I said, you know, that's smart. Right. You don't tell them what you, exactly what you're doing. That's the whole point, man. Win by surprise. Because they'll do the opposite. They didn't. It was exactly as he said. First of all, these lenders aren't... You don't say anything. By the way, everybody, this isn't alcohol. This is just uh, Arizona. Babies, these are total killers. These are not the nice, sweet little people that you think, okay? You know, I mean, you're living in a world of the make believe, Chris. I do look like the Grinch. You want to know the truth? Right now, we have okay, Obama. He won't call. Character. He doesn't even call to get our hostages back no, from man. Iran. Here we are in the middle of a deal, and he doesn't call about that. One sentence, I'd say, you got to, before we start, get those people back. Used to be three, now it's four. Get those people. They'd be back the next hour. You hear our politicians, <laughs> John McCain, two days. Oh, Benghazi, you don't hear about it anymore. Hillary Clinton with the emails. Oh, the emails, two days. I'm more disappointed in the Republicans in many ways. They talk and talk and talk. 
And then they side with the liberals and the de demon rats, 1,000%. Let me know what you guys think better or worse, a liberal or a rhino. And I just got back from Chattanooga, too, and I spoke to some Marines there. And guess what happens to Anthony Weiner? A month ago, I see he went to work for a public relations firm. Do you believe it? Now, if you think that Uma isn't telling Anthony, who she's probably desperately in love with, in all fairness to Anthony, because why else would she marry this guy? Can you believe it? <laughs> can't see straight. <laughs> but if you would... I, I can't see straight. <laughs> involved because I'm in the nursing home profession. Okay, hey, come on, you know, I gotta go. Hey, come on. Oh, wait a minute, no, no. let me finish this. Okay. You know what, I think your question's great, and I can understand. He's talking about basically counterfeit parts, just to cut to the chase. We don't have to know that you're in the nursing home business. What, are you trying to talk to some of us about joining your little home? <laughs> come on, sit down. No, we think it's good. We think your point is good. Yeah, give it to him. Good. <laughs> they said to Marco Rubio, are you having fun? He's sweating like a pig. I never saw a guy sweat like this. The, the sweat is pouring down. I think Rubio is a low energy. But here's the problem with Rubio. When you... I think Rubio is low. <laughs> you sweat that much. Now think of it. So you have Putin. He's sitting over here. And he's waiting to kill the stupid Americans because he's been just destroying us so badly. So he figures, oh, and a guy mm. walks in and he's soaking wet and sweating. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Look at his face where I paused it. This is great. Hello, can I have some water? Uh, and Putin's sitting there. What the hell kind of stuff is this? This is not exactly a poker player, folks. John McCain goes, Oh, boy, Trump makes my life difficult. He had 15,000 crazies show up, crazies. He called them all crazy. I said, they weren't crazy. They were great Americans. These people, if you would have seen these people, you, I know what crazy is. I know all about crazies. <laughs> these weren't crazy. So he insulted me, and he insulted everybody in that room. And I said, somebody should run against John McCain, who has been, you know, in my opinion, not so hot. And I supported him. I supported him for president. I I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to vote for him or Obama. Raised a million dollars. So I didn't vote that year. Dollars from. It's a lot of money. I supported him. He lost. He let us down. But you know, he lost. So I never liked him as much after that because I don't like losers. <laughs> but, 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 he hit me. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Do you agree with that? He's a war hero because he was captured. Newsflash, the Republican Party's been fighting against a single-payer okay. system for a decade. So I think you're on the wrong side of this if you're still arguing for a single-payer system. Not, I'm not, I don't think you heard me. You're having a hard time tonight. All right, let... <laughs> I know Whoa. Anthony Weiner for a long time. I knew before they caught him with the bing, 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 right? <clears throat> with the bing, 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 bing. And he was a bad guy then. It turned out that he was a really bad guy. So Rand Paul calls. He wants to play golf. I play golf. I kill him at golf. I did. But when the folks of Iowa found out the true facts of the job that you've done in Wisconsin, all of a sudden you tubed. He was number one. Now he's number six or seven in the poll. So Jeb Bush, let's say he's president. Uh <laughs> <laughs> he dislikes Jed Bush so much. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. He knows it's so good. He'll have a little pressure. Don't let the plant be built. And he might even say, don't let the plant be built. Might even call the head of Ford. The plant's not going to be built. And then the next day, he'll be called by special interests that supported him. His lobbyists who push him around like a piece of candy. Mm -hmm. Jed Bush. <laughs> like a piece of candy? <laughs> <laughs> will never take us to the promised land. He doesn't have it. You ever see, did you ever see a sign that says Jeb Bush or Bush? Oh, man, was this just a Jeb Bush roast right here? This is great. Now, there's a reason he doesn't use his last name, because it's not going to work too well. We yeah, that last name ain't got much credibility at all. He had a lot of problems with that last name. And I think you can see I'm having a good time. I really am. You know, they said to Jeb Bush, he was like this. <laughs> they said, are, <laughs> are you having fun? Yes. 
Uh, our governor here in Massachusetts, Charlie Baker, has described some of your comments about women as reprehensible. Do you have a response to that? No, he must have been talking about Jeb Bush. <laughs> this is, how long is this Jeb Bush roast going on for? Because, frankly, Jeb Bush said he didn't want to fund women's health issues, and then he came back a few hours later and he said he misspoke. I think he must be talking about Jeb Bush. He's not talking about me. Jeb Bush said that on women's health issues that he won't fund him. Then he went out, he apologized. He's, you okay? You okay? <laughs> he just stops talking mid-sense, just looks up. Jeb Bush said that on women's health issues, he won't fund them. Whose phone is that? <laughs> you ready? Third time. Ready? <laughs> He's getting salty. Jeb Bush said that on women's health issues, he won't fund them. Then he said, oh, I misspoke. I'm so sorry. Uh, there was no question because I heard when he said the statement. I was watching and he said the statement and I said, wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. I, I get to use it against him. I will take care of women. I respect women. I will take care of women. <laughs> yeah, you said you're going yeah, to cut yeah, yeah. funding for women's I health issues. I have a proven you record. I yeah, except you record. said it. I want to. Jeb will be very poor as a president. No energy. Okay, yes. No energy. Jeb Bush a frequent target of yours, and what do you think well, about Well, I would say Jeb Bush is a frequent target because when this whole thing started, I thought he was going to be the primary competition, but he's drifted very much to the middle of the pack, and he's rapidly disappearing, <laughs> so we're going to have to start looking at somebody else. One of the things people love about you oh is you speak God, your mind, bro, and you don't use a politician's filter. Done. However, that is not without its downsides. You've called women you don't like fat pigs. We know dogs, how this one goes. Where's your Donald? Slobs and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. Yeah, we... we have totally incompetent people. Now, some people say they're bad people. I don't think they're that smart to be bad people. I just think, uh, honestly, I mean, a lot of people are happy when I say, I don't think they're bad. I think they're stupid. Yeah. I think they're incompetent. I think Hillary would be a terrible president. She was the worst secretary of state in the history of our nation. History. Why would she be a good president? I think she'd be a terrible president. These politicians, they run and they run and they win and sometimes they lose and... They keep running. That's all they do is run. Run. That's all they do is run. And then you have this guy, Lindsey Graham, a total lightweight. Here's a guy in the private sector. He couldn't get a job, believe me. They dunk people with a cage. Did you see that? They dunk them and drown them. These people make Saddam Hussein look like a choir boy. <laughs> oh, my God. And then I watch this idiot, Lindsey Graham, on top. This idiot, Lindsey Graham. today, and he calls me a jackass. He's a jackass. <laughs> I'm sorry. These are so funny, dude. He actually probably seems to me not as bright, honestly, as Rick Perry. I think Rick Perry probably is smarter than Lindsey Graham, but what do I know? I'm at 38, I think, in South Carolina. He's at three. He's a senator. <laughs> they have zero. They have one. They have two. Why do they keep going? There's something I don't understand. If I was one of them... Because they get paid off of that stuff. You know what I mean? People donate to their campaign, and they just funnel all the money to themselves. They know they're going to lose, but they still make a couple million off of it. It's all a scheme. I would crawl quietly out. I'd probably tweet. I've decided to get out of the race. I wouldn't have a news conference. No, it's true. I'd tweet. I've decided I'm going to get out of the race. And then I'd sneak out to some place with my wife and I'd just go away. Okay, so now Bush goes in and he makes a mistake. And then Obama, mm -hmm. frankly, might as well have stayed there, but okay. But he, <laughs> he made a mistake too. And I said, keep the oil. Do you remember that? And everyone said, you can't keep the oil. It's a sovereign country. You can't keep the oil. I said, keep the oil. We're in there now. You blew it. You shouldn't have gone in. So here's who has it. Iran is taking it, and ISIS has it. And ISIS now is building a hotel in Iraq. They're competing with me. <laughs> ISIS time. Can you believe it? They did the beheading. 
and then they've done other and i said you know they're making a big mistake isis because if they you know, i've never seen any of them videos but i heard they are really really crazy we wouldn't have done that and if they wouldn't keep doing we wouldn't have cared we could have been gone but you can't now when you see what they're doing you can't had they not done those things the level of violence we're like living in medieval times you know when you hear middle medieval times you always think we're all civilized it's a jungle it's horrible out there it is the world is crazy he called me the ratings machine so i have uh, you know she she gets out and she starts asking me all sorts of ridiculous questions and you know you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes <laughs> Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't even realize that was Trump at first. <laughs> you could see the blood coming uh, out of her. Blood coming out of her, wherever. And then I, I see uh, oh, Rick Perry great. the other day, and he's so, you know, he's doing very poorly in the polls. He put glasses on so people will think he's smart. <laughs> and it's, it just doesn't work. You know, people can. Hey, glasses don't make you smart. See through the glasses. So he said he shouldn't be allowed on the debate stage. I said to myself, he shouldn't. And then I tweeted, I'm going to have many millions between Facebook and Twitter. It's great. It's like owning a newspaper without the... He just flexed on them. Bosses, it's incredible. <laughs> incredible. So I tweeted that Rick Perry should have to have an IQ test before getting on <laughs> the debate stage. I mean, here's a guy... <laughs> he goes on a bicycle he's doing a bicycle race he's 73 years old he's in a bicycle race he falls he breaks his leg during the negotiation and i tell everybody and you probably heard it i swear to you i will never be in a bicycle race as long as i'm president <laughs> I they should have dropped the thug life glasses down right here to subject my wife into the middle of a raucous political conversation was completely inappropriate. And I hope you apologize for that, Donald. Well, I have to tell you, I hear phenomenal things. I hear your wife is a lovely woman. She is. I she's don't fantastic. know her. And this she is, is a total absolutely the love of my life. And she's right here. And why don't Good. you apologize Good. for her? No, I won't right do that now. because. No, I won't do that. <laughs> I said nothing wrong, but I do hear so she's a lovely woman. I want to get paid the same as a man. And I think you understand that. So, oh, wow. I want to get paid the same as a man. Oh, if you become president, will a woman make the same as a man? And do Thunberg I get to choose something? what I do with my body? You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. They spent. <laughs> I got her. Listen to this $1 million on ads against me in Iowa. Now, here's the good news. They use the best pictures. I look so good in those pictures. I'm trying to find where they got them. <laughs> Stupid. But I was like a young guy. I look so handsome. I said to myself, oh, I wish I still looked like that. It would be great. And his son came back so from the funny. deli. And he called the father. He used to call him old man. Old man, I'll be there in three minutes. Rubio, I've never seen a young guy sweat that much. There he goes back to Rubio. <laughs> no, I've never seen him. He's drinking water, water, water. Oh, never... oh my gosh, bro. I never saw anything like this with him with the water. Him with the water. <laughs> but, and everybody, Huckabee, nice guy. He was seriously hot. He was soaking wet. I grabbed him around his back. <laughs> <laughs> I said, good job, and it was soaking wet. I immediately... It seems like this election has been a whole lot about a person who's very high in the polls, but doesn't have a clue about how to govern, a person who has been... Boo! ...filled with scandals... Here, and who could yep, not right leave. There with you, and, of course, I'm talking about Hillary Clinton. Okay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think America. Thank you. It's been an amazing journey for me. It's been a lot of fun. I never thought I'd be a politician in my life. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I never thought I'd really be in the politics at all, ever in my life, because I used to not care about it at all. He said, I'm not. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not. I refuse. That is so funny. I love coming across these videos. And that was a really long one. That one was like, what? Excuse me, 26 minutes long. Whew, that's a nice long one. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Also, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that like. 
hit that share, hit that subscribe, and smash that notification. We'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.